Do you need an actual heart shake? Matter of fact, an ultimate shake? Well, great, because today I'm going to show you how to make this shake in less than five minutes. Get in After Effects and have all your clips pre-composed. I already added some zooms to these. Yes, uh, of course I did. They aren't mandatory. I mean, it will look fine without it. Well, if you're interested in using the same zooms as I did, check out this video card above after this video. Also, make sure you have all the plugins installed in the description. And if you think you need additional help, join my Discord server and ask around. Start by searching up motion tile and add it to your clip. Next, change the output width and the output height to 250. And then check the box for mirror edges. Next, search and drop wave warp to your clip. From here, change the wave type to smooth noise. Next, change the wave height to 128. Make sure you're at the beginning of your clip and click the stopwatch for wave width. Then change it up to 695. From here, easy use the keyframes, then copy the graph I make. Next, search up S underscore shake and apply it to your clip. Make sure you're at the beginning of your clip and change the amplitude to 1.4. Next, go about halfway into your clip and change that value back down to 0. Go back to the beginning of your clip and click the stopwatch for frequency and change the value to 45. Next, go halfway into your clip and change it to 10. Now click the drop down arrow for X. Make sure you're at the beginning of your clip and change the X red A and P to 17 while clicking the stopwatch. Now go about halfway into your clip and change it back down to 0. Go back to the start and click the drop down arrow for Y shape and change the Y ran AMP to 0 while clicking the stopwatch. Next, go in about halfway into your clip and change the value to 96. Next, click on the drop down arrow for Z shake and go to the beginning of the clip and change the Z ran AMP to 90. Next, go about halfway into your clip and change the value to 7. Next, from here, add S underscore shake to your clip. Now, make sure you're at the beginning of your clip and click the stopwatch for amplitude while changing the value to 6. Next, go about one third into your clip and change the value to zero. Next, change the frequency to 15. Next, click on the drop down arrow for X shake and change the X shake AMP to 150. Now do the same but with Y shake and then instead let's change the Y shake AMP to 120. From here, search up and apply exposure to your clip. Go to the beginning of your clip and change the exposure value up to 3.5 and click on the stopwatch. Next, go about two thirds into your clip and change the exposure value back down to zero. Now click U on your keyboard and easy ease all the keyframes. Now, because there's a lot of them, just copy the graph I make for each effect. I'm going to put the name for like each effect and just follow along. Lastly, search up and add Twitch to your clip. Click on the arrow for enable and check the box for slide. Once you got that done, click on the drop down arrow for operator controls, then slide. Start by changing the slide amount to 75, slide twitches to 1.5, slide direction to 1, and change the unique slide seed to 22. Next, go up here, click the stopwatch for amount, and change the value to 50. Next, go to the end of the clip, and change the value down to 0. Easy use the keyframes we just made, and copy this graph I make. We're all done with the shake. You can touch it up if you see the need. Copy and paste it to the rest of your clips as I'm doing here. If you want the same color correction I use, check out my CC pack in the description. And if you're a total beginner, I'd recommend my editing pack, which has lots of presets to make your edits look 10x better. Now, if you want to make more premium shakes like this, check out this video on screen. Go check out my other socials in the description if you'd like to see my personal edits. And hey, subscribe if this helped you out so I can make more tutorials.